One of the things I'm going to talk about today is just a, just a very short uh, review of the tractor. Well, I want to thank everybody that's been tuning into the channel. I want to thank everybody that subscribed. Uh, I look, we appreciate every, every one of you. Continue to subscribe and, and like us. We we really need the support uh, to continue these videos. Um, one of the things I'm going to talk about today is a, just a, just a very short uh, review of the tractor. Do I have any complaints? Yes, I do. I actually have a couple of complaints. Uh, one of them actually is the loader. Um, the the loader on this tractor um i don't know how to put it to you but it flexes a little bit uh whenever you're using it and it's something that i'm not used to i don't know why it does that uh it doesn't seem to affect it for its as far as its um its usability uh it doesn't seem to affect uh, how strong it is and how well it works it, it seems to work fine it's just uh, that flex kind of bothers me a little bit, and that's that is a complaint that I, I think I have. I think LS needs to put on this tractor the MT573. I think LS needs to step up the loader quality, uh, but at the same time, I was looking at the LS uh, M7s. The loader that's on the LS M7s is, is a lot better loader, uh, it, it's tremendously better than this loader is, and I think that they could get by with putting that loader on the MT573 uh, and I think it would be a better tractor. Matter of fact, I'd be willing to pay just a little bit more for this tractor if they used that loader on it. I don't think it's going to cost that much more to put that loader on here. Any other complaints I have are, are, are you know, they're small. Uh, I, I don't like, I don't like where this lever is at sometimes. I, I really kind of wish it's over a little further just a little bit because when I'm in second gear my knee hits it right here you can see that and so that's a little bit of, a, of an issue no other gear does my knee hit it but in the second gear and you know it, it it's got a fairly decent range except for right there um, another complaint would be the distance of the loader stick I, I I wish you know they could have come out a little bit better and they could have put it right here I think that would have been better uh, for me, it would be. I am on and off of this loader, the loader stick, a lot more than I'm on and off of this. So maybe this should have been here, and this should have been here, and that way the the, the this lever would have been easier for me to use. Uh, the layout here is great. I no complaints, none whatsoever. Uh, this this setup is is really nice. This my draft control and my position control. And this auto feature are, are awesome. I have no issues whatsoever there. These are these are awesome features. Now I'm going to complain about a couple things here. Uh, these switches here are in, are fine. They're they're in a good spot. This switch here, you've got to be careful. You do not want to push this switch into position when you're using it. So why did they put it here? This should have been maybe back here in this location because. This is this is an, this is for adjusting oil pressures on the transmission. It's a calibration switch, and we are going to get into this switch. I I've been cautious on getting into this switch because I don't want to give any bad information about how to use this switch or what this switch is for. It's not something that you need to touch or use anytime soon. But it is a, a switch that normally they tell you to uh, contact your dealer on or something of that nature. But it is a feature that's in here for you as the operator and owner to use. But, but why is it here? Because I've got, got my PTO switch here, and then I've got my engagement switch here, um, and then my differential switch here. So this switch probably should have been back here, uh, out of the way, or maybe even behind a panel or something. I don't know. It's just my opinion. Um, the, other, the other issues that I have are these switches here. Um, I hit these two switches, which are windshield wipers, and I hit the light switches with my elbow quite often. 
which is very aggravating. I'll, I'll get out of the tractor and see that, and I, I will find the lights on because I was sitting here working and I accidentally hit one of these switches. And I, and this is this is the main switch I hit with my elbow. You can see how that can happen. Um, why is the cup holder behind me? I mean, how am I supposed to put my drink with the cup holder in a different location? Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Cell phone holder, um, I guess. It's, but it's, but it's great. I mean, look, I've got some pity. These are all pity things. Um, these switches here, I, I never use them. That one's on. Uh, that's the headlight switch. So I must have hit that a few minutes ago. Uh, but this is the headlight switch. This is the for your front grill. One for you. The creeper. I had a comment that came in and they were talking about they don't like where the creeper's at, uh, the, the location of the creeper. Well, I'm actually in agreement with that because it, it's kind of in the way. Sometimes you hit it with your foot like I just did there. You you know, that that's a little bit of an issue. But most of the, a lot of the tractors have that creeper right there. And I, I, I'm assuming it's because it's pretty close to where they need to shift the transmission. I do wish this seat would shift a little further than 10 degrees but I also wish it would go both directions it does not I think in one of my videos I talked about the steering column and the steering wheel and the, the, the levels and so forth I've kind of gotten used to it now I don't even really notice that it's a little bit lower than I would like it uh, we've talked about putting the suicide knob on it I guess it's what I don't know what it's called but that's what I call it suicide knob on it to help you know in that feature but it, it's fine I've actually I uh, haven't had any issues with it. It's worked great for me. I don't have a whole lot of, I don't have a lot of complaints. I, I'm not trying to, to figure out ways to bash this tractor. I just want to, to bring out some of the details that I do see. Um, the throttle. I, 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 it's a little touchy for me. I, I would like, and there's no adjustment for that uh, I do wish that they had an adjustment you know a way to 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 make it less sensitive it is electronically done so it's not like uh, they couldn't do that it's just a little too touchy for me if you're out in the field and bouncing around you're you're doing this on the throttle a little bit and that's a little bit of a problem so the LS tractor has been a great tractor um, I haven't had any issues with it. I don't, I don't have a lot of hours on it. I know that it's, it's still fairly new, uh, but it's been a great tractor. You know, one of the things I think would be fair to say right now is that um, I've somewhat been accused of, of not being a, uh, uh, you know, not knowing a lot maybe about the tractors themselves. That's not true. I have been a mechanic most of my life, um, about 35 years, as a matter of fact. And then I've run tractors, been on tractors, and been on and off tractors for 45 years or more. Uh, I started my first tractor was obviously back when I was a young, young kid. And you know, it's funny I the tractors you start off on. I started off, you know, on a little Ford 8 in uh, tractor. Uh, but I gradually moved into much, much larger tractors. I've been on Oliver's, Massey Ferguson, John Deere, very large case tractors. Um, I've owned Case, Massey Ferguson, myself. Uh, I've owned Ford. I've owned uh, Kubota. And I, now I own this LS. And of all the tractors I've ridden and all the tractors I've been in, uh, I, I really don't have much anything to complain about. They've all been good tractors, including the LS. There is not much about the tractor that I have to complain about. Um, I think the tractor so far has done me a, a, a very good job. It's very, it's a very strong tractor. It has a lot of power. Uh, it, it does good. I've been asked about the R14 tires that are on it. Uh, the R14 tires are, 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 are pretty good. I don't know how they're going to react. Uh, let's say uh, in 10 years from now or five years from now when they get some wear on them, I, I don't know how they'll react. Then I know that the R1 tires, you know, usually. They have some fairly decent grip to them, and, and especially in the plowed fields for, for quite a good time. R4s are not, not so much. But uh, at the same time, this is supposed to be some type of hybrid tire, and um, 
they've done good. I, I like them. Look, that's just a short, quick summary of the things I like and the things I don't like so far. I, I thought I should get that, get that out there. Uh, but until next time, thanks.